Hello, my name is Aaron Michael Babcock. Welcome to my channel. So the title of this video is Constitutional Republic News for You of 2024. So I'll be your host and we have no connections to the news channel Democracy Now! with an exclamation mark on YouTube. Uh, we are just for our constitutional republic. So that's what the news is going to be about. And I think that constitutional republic ethics and law will kind of reflect that democracy of a true constitutional republic. And I don't think we've really been able to live under a good constitutional republic yet. But we have to, we have to keep it and save it. Even though many parts are broken, you got to, Put the pieces back together like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> so anyway, let's move on. I'm going to just go over my voting record. Back in 1996, I voted for Bob Dole. He was a senator, a World War II veteran. And he did a filibuster for the assault weapons ban that Bill Clinton had done. And... I was very emotionally distressed about the assault weapons ban back then with Bill Clinton. And he dodged the draft and went to Russia. And who knows what he talked about there. But my dad was a Vietnam veteran. And so growing up in the 80s, Ronald Reagan went against communism like JFK did in the Bay of Pigs. And the Vietnam veterans and the Korean War veterans. And many other people went against communism, McCarthyism. So, moving on, we, uh, we're here in 2024, and so I voted for Bob Dole. He actually won Washington State and lost most of the United States to Bill Clinton from a landslide loss, but I do not feel bad at all for my vote. I actually love my vote, and I, I have kept the Constitution in spirit of my vote and that's what it was all about my grievance about the second amendment through high school when i wasn't able to vote and i was able to vote legally and i am still proud of uh, voted for bob dole and so i know down the road he might have changed different political views you know he never really liked trump and all this other stuff but for that time period versus uh, Clinton, it was a good vote, and I'm very, very proud of that very first time I voted and never forgot it. And thank you, Washingtonians, for for that constitutional vote in 1996. So moving on, 2012. I never voted again. I never liked the Bush family in office, senior or junior, or the Clintons, or Hillary Clinton, or any of those guys or Obama, or Romney, I voted for Ron Paul, who was a veteran, and also for the Second Amendment, and for a gold standard as a congressman for 30-some years. So I voted for Ron Paul. He had won like five states, and uh, they did a RNC rule change, really disenfranchised people, and then Mitt Romney backstabbed in the state of Maine, Ron Paul's alternate voters and he flew them in and so they marched out of that convention and there's a video on that but we did get a national delegate from Cowlitz County in our state and so we did have a good handful of Ron Paul delegates that were in Washington State in 2012 and I'm very proud of that vote because Romney you know, during the impeachment he backstabbed Trump that's a good just confirmed how he is he's a backstabbing rhino republican not a real republican in my my view he was you know with black lives matter in the, their crowd so basically he's just a republicrat or might as well be a democrat so moving on i voted again 2016 for donald trump in 2020 for Donald Trump, and I'll be voting 2024 for Donald Trump. And um, 
The big oil barons like the Bush family usually donate to the Republican Party, and the big pharma usually donates to the Democrats. And he comes along in the middle, throws the turd in the punch bowl that they were used to, and in that corporatocracy and all the departments, the, the rhinos always want establishment, Washington, D.C., manager of all those hundreds and hundreds of departments of corporatocracy. And so they say they're for the veterans and they say they're all for this and that and they just get big oil money and you know how corrupt it gets. So you got to follow the money all the time. And just like today in New York, the whole justice system, how much George Soros has funded all these DAs and judges and uh, it's really biased and corrupt. And so moving on, that's my voting record. Bob Dole, veteran. Ron Paul, veteran. Donald Trump, military academy. Who always really honored the veterans. And uh, so that's my voting record. I'm very proud of it. And that's where I'm at. So I will talk to you later. And that's the news today. So if you would like to learn about the Constitution Republic Party of Washington State, Email Aaron Michael Babcock 1975 at gmail.com, all lowercase. And please like and subscribe if you like these videos. Thank you very much. And I'd like to shout out to all the patriots out there in our state. Um, I think it's time to get people registered to vote for November 5th. It's very, very important. Our country's on the line. Um, there's lawfare going on, so we have to restore these Constitutional Republic documents in a distribution campaign. No matter what group you're in, we have to do this. Get the paperwork to the people. It's very important. I'll be out there and being on video and what have you. So I'll talk to you later. God bless America. America first. Thank you very much.